You guys are probably thinking, that guy's on a track with no car. He's going nowhere. But guess what? When that gate releases, I'm out of here. Buckle up for today's Hot Wheels Labs. Trying to make the jump, huh? Yeah. You need more potential energy. My mom says I have potential. My mom says I have a lot of energy. I'm talking about something different. Come on up here, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so tell me, does this car have energy? Yes. It does, kinetic energy, moving energy. What about this car? Does this have energy? No. It doesn't look like it does, because it's invisible. That's potential energy all about where something is or how it is. And this car had potential energy because of its distance from the ground. I know exactly the experiment to show you. You wanna go check it out? Yeah. Yeah! Let's go get it. Right, guys, the reason we have six tracks is because when you increase the height, you're also increasing the potential energy. I call it the splat test. Who wants to get started? Yeah! All right, let's go! at six feet. What do you think would happen at 10 feet? Oh, I just go right through it. I want to see it at 30 feet. Yeah! Then let's do it. Whoa! There's lots of potential here. That's right. All this height gives us gravitational potential energy because the car has the potential to be pulled down the ramp by gravity. Here we go. Oh, but there are other types of potential energy too like elastic, on, mechanical, go, go, and a wind-up car. On. Nuclear. All right, let's do this. Yeah, biggest jump ever. I know one even bigger for maximum potential energy. <laughs> 